Hi, my name is Amanda Pirro, and I'm a pediatric critical care physician. My dad is a physician, and my sister, who's the oldest, is eight years older, is also a physician. So it was part in family, having been exposed to it. Um, but what I realized growing up is that I cared about other people. Um, and I really liked the humanistic aspect of medicine in that there's an art to it, there's a science to it, um, but it kind of takes all parts of being a human to be able to practice medicine. Pediatric critical care is something that interested me once I chose pediatrics. So I went through my pediatrics training first, um, but kind of went back to my last year of medical school when I was choosing between pediatrics and surgery. And I liked the aspects of surgery, of being in the OR, of doing procedures, of being very meticulous, especially in, in pediatrics. Um, but I also realized I liked having conversations with the family over the courses of days to weeks. Uh, and pediatric critical care allowed me to kind of combine both of those interests. I think that's vital, um, especially in the ICU. There's, I mean, you have all the background noise, you have beeping, you have dinging, you have lights on 24 seven, you have other rooms that are busy and it's really hard to one sleep, let alone have a conversation. Um, and so whether that's a conversation that you need to have at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m., um, it's important to learn the art of silence um, and kind of be able to read between the lines, read body language, have families feel like they're in a comfortable space that they can tell you whatever they need or want to tell you. I find it really rewarding when I can, you know, come in one day and see a kid really sick and then they walk out the next week or the next day. Um, and I also find it rewarding getting to meet so many different types of people um, that they each have taught me so much along the way that I'm excited for the next 15, 20, 30 years to also learn. I just started picking up tennis. <laughs> I took maybe one class one summer when I was 13, um, but my husband really likes it and it's something that I realized you have to focus on while you're playing. So I can't think about what I need to do tomorrow or the dishes that need to be done or the laundry or anything on the to-do list. I actually have to focus in the moment. So we're really starting to get into that, which I'm excited to see once I'm a little bit better <laughs> of where that goes.